Hello, everybody, and this is the Pop GT Podcast, live from Atlantic City, New Jersey, for the first time. At the Resorts Hotel. Hotel. Yeah, so uh, we just got here not that long ago, and uh, we had a problem getting a room, even though we made reservations like a month ago. They didn't have a room for us, but we got one anyhow. They fun- well, first they gave us a, uh, hey, a handicapped yeah. room, and the shower head wouldn't stay up. It was crazy. So... Uh, we call them up and ask them for another room, and they got us one. So uh, here we go. We might be a little bit late tonight. Uh, so definitely a lot late. late but, We're going to step over like nine. Okay, so you want to tell them the news today? Um. Okay, some news today. So let's start off with some, like, bad news. The coronavirus is spreading. Now there's two people have it in Mexico, which the coronavirus is also halting reductions of a lot of movies. The next Mission Impossible movie. Oh, really? It's being held, 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 out. held, held up because um, they're not filming in Italy, but there's a coronavirus oh. scare down there, so they have to wait. Oh, okay. Unless they're not filming in the U.S. or something. Um, the stock market took a big drop? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be drop to the Huge. coronavirus. Man, pretty soon I won't have no money, but that's okay. I'm used to having no money, so that's life. What can you do? So, uh, um, Some more bad news. Um, about, um, I think it was, oh, I don't think, I know. Milwaukee. Mil- Milwaukee, is that how you Yeah, Coors Brewery. There was a shooting. Five the, people dead, and the guy killed himself. The gun man killed himself. That like, don't make any sense. Why would you want to shoot five people and then kill yourself? I why would you want to shoot five people? I don't understand that. Unless he was mad, maybe he got fired. Nobody oh. knows the motive. I don't see a motive, at least on here. Yeah, so. It's, just, it's an awful thing. It really is. We're... I don't even know. It's it's awful. Shootings always happen, and I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. I feel like we gotta do something about it. Just saying our prayers and thoughts ain't enough. For the people, right? Yeah, it's not enough. It ain't enough. Uh, So here's some good news. How about this girl here? All right. Hello, girl. This this girl from Colorado. Yeah, age six. Called 911 for her hurt stuffed animal. And they came. And they came to the rescue. Yes. Good going, uh, I don't know if they were firefighters or medics. No, officers. Oh, police officers. Okay, <laughs> that was nice. Because, oh. like, it says right here the mom always gives her a dead phone to play with to pretend. But I guess she actually, actually turned it on or it, was, it has a battery in it and she called the cops. Okay. And uh, how about that Cincinnati church? Oh, the Cincinnati church paid off. Uh, $46.5 million worth in of medical, medical debt to uh, 45,000 families. Yeah, so that was amazing. great of them. I don't know where they got all that money, but they yeah, must have some rich people way. going to that church, huh? But mm-hmm. that was nice of them. That was very thoughtful. So uh, keep up the good work. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Well, so. Yeah, I'm sorry to bring up this coronavirus thing again. What's but that? this morning, on the morning when I was at my high school, there was, as you all heard of the coronavirus outbreak, we should start washing our hands more and blah, blah, blah. Oh, just to be just safe. Just to be safe, but, like, that's scary. And that's kind of like a pandemic. I don't know what, what's the word for it. I think they're just pushing a little bit too far. I, well, it's not right. The thing with coronavirus is it, just, it only kills people that are really old or really young. And Trump did the right thing by uh, shutting down the borders of people from China. Yeah, that was the right thing. That I mean, was a good thing. Even, even though it's bad. Even though it's bad. It's, but U.S. citizens were allowed to come back, but, uh, but yeah. nobody else. So they, just, they get over this. But. So this thing just, you know, gets away. I don't that's crazy. And almost the uh, boys looking for a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, a shot. Oh, Vac- a shot, a, vac- a vaccine to get rid yeah, of it. Yeah, you get like rid of it. So you don't get, yeah, like a flu shot. So I hope that's, that's good. something. That's good. Right. Here you go. Coronavirus prevention tips. Avoid close contact with sick people. Avoid touching eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when sick. Cover coughs and sneezes. Disinfect often touched objects and surfaces. Wash hands frequently. Okay, there you go. There's the tips. So, so that's the tips for today. So yeah, the tips for today. Yeah. So uh, um, um, anything else you want to talk about? Let me look around for the news. Um, I know about. Okay, I'm sure at least some of you that are watching this have exactly. seen this show, Superstore. I was telling pops about this in the car ride during coming down here. Yeah, it took us about what. Four hours, four hours, three hours. hours. We stopped. We stopped to eat, but But, uh, anyway, 
at in, in Superstore, there's this character called Amy. She's been on the show since the first episode. She's one of the executive producers, I think, if I'm right, if I'm correct. Yeah, she's, she's, she's the show's lead and executive producer. And uh, her... Well, what is it, a comedy show? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like The Office. Oh, okay. But like in a Walmart. That's how, that's how I consider it. It's like a... But, yeah, it's... it's eh. I, I thought it was funny when I was watching it. Her name is uh, Amer America Ferrara. She's, yeah, she's been on the show since the beginning, and she's uh, leaving. Why is she leaving? <laughs> Just tired of doing it? Um, hold on. There's an actual reason. She was saying, oh, right here. The last five years on Superstore have been some of the most rewarding, enriching, and enjoyable years of my career. Ferrar said, a statement obtained by CNN, producing, directing, and acting with this wonderful cast and crew has given me opportunities to grow as a person and storyteller. Storyteller, what? I'm so grateful to my partners at NBC and Universal Television for the support and belief they have always placed on in the show. And I'm most thankful to the brilliant Justin... Spitzer for creating the funny, smart, and relevant world of Superstore and inviting me to be part of it. Um, Superstore is currently in its fifth season, fifth season. It'll be picked up for a sixth season earlier this month. <laughs> the show has been on for like four years, but yeah, so I guess she's leaving because she wants to move on from being on the show, Dad. Oh, okay. So then she I, 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 either she was tired of it, or you know, it doesn't just doesn't feel right anymore. Maybe she thinks the show should have ended a while ago. You know, some shows get to the point where it drags out. You sound, you sound tired, Papa. Does the car ride make you tired? Maybe I don't know. I got this cold like I don't know my nose uh -oh. is I remember. So <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah. No, <laughs> I don't joke don't about say that. that. That's not funny. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Yeah, exactly. Um. Oh, isn't that family raises puppy for two years until vet tells them it's not, not a dog. dog. <laughs> see what that says. I want to see what that says. Let me see. Let me look. Yeah, he's using a different computer than we usually use. In the, the what is he? Yeah, that's it's probably like a hyena or something. That's what it kind of looks like. A hyena. I'm fucking. I don't remember the name of it. Her daughter's in a lot of characters. She was supposed to learn to limit that just wasn't right. It was not anything. Not. Sue Young was in big trouble. I don't. This website seems really. You want to head that back? All right. She, she had every. Hold on. We're trying to find what kind of dog it was. What, what, what it is. No, wait. What? This ain't. This ain't what we're looking for. This is. We want that. Yeah, that's the one. No, look. It's a, okay. We're looking at a clickbait title. A what? A clickbait title. What do you mean? Where they say something that's happening, but right? It's not really happening. It's not actually a thing. It's trying to get you from the website to get something from you. Oh, okay. Forget it. Yes, okay, it so. Right. We'll put the advertisement in there? Oh, uh, yeah, might as well. Uh, sorry, it's just, it's just uh, what you call it? What's what you call it? Uh, like Mr. Not, Compoodles here? Not a planned show as well as yeah. we planned it. Oh! 40 advertising. Movies of the week. <coughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget That's that. That's right. We almost forgot. Yep. Da, da, da. Oh, no. What are we going to do, Mr. Bell? Uh, okay. What's the show? Um, opening this week, Wally the Invisible Old Man finally came out. Pops oh, good, I want to see that one. Pops wanted to see this one. Yeah, Has a 90% on the tomato meter and a nine, and, uh, 89% on audience score. I want to see that one. That's I why I went around to DVD company. That'd be like six months. <laughs> okay. So well, they well, say it's smart, well-acted, well-acted, and above all, it's scary. The Invisible Man proves that something, th that sometimes the classic source material for a fresh reboot can be hiding in plain sight. What? What's that one there? The Jesus Rolls. Oh, wait. That guy came out? What? I know it came out yet. What's that? That's, remember movie? that movie, The Big Lebowski? Yeah. That's the sequel, that's the spin off of that. Remember that guy, a purple, that guy in the purple, the bowler? Yeah. That's that, that's, it's basically, it's about oh, that guy really? now. 
Yeah, the, his name was like Jesus or Jesus or whatever. Oh, okay. I'm All right. Oh man, was. it's getting bad. Okay, it says a twenty-two percent tomato meter. I was hoping it could be good. So, what's Wendy? Was. That's about you know that's about no. Wendy's about you know how in Peter Pan there was uh the girl he led away Wendy or whatever. I mean, you've never seen Peter Pan, oh. but it's about them going back to Neverland. I think, right? I, I hope so. <laughs> Wendy did something different from his classic source material. Unfortunately, the movie's breathtaking visuals are at odds with a flawed take on the story. 43%. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's about them going to Neverland. I'm pretty sure it's a sequel to... Uh, okay, I'll just... I have no clue. Don't... Don't take my saying as what it is. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, the lady at AT&T gave me... Lied to me right to my face. What? Oh, yeah. what's, what's up about this, Pops? Yeah. So we went, I uh, wanted to take a number off uh, your phone plan. My phone plan on AT&T. So we go to the same place you always go to, and this lady had, no, hi, my name, I'm not giving her name, but and she sat down with us and started talking to us. And I said, you know what, last time you were here, we got a new plan. Um, they really didn't tell us too much. And she looked up on her thing and said, oh, that was the guy you talked to. But then... I remembered something. What? She's the one, remember they wouldn't even shoot the bathroom? Yeah. At at t store? So she's the one that wouldn't even shoot the bathroom, and I gave her a hard time about that. I thought that was rude. Oh, yeah, because she, she won't let Jonathan, you won't let Jonathan, you won't let John, Jonathan use the bathroom, which is our... But we can't, yeah, can, we can't cancel... We can't cancel it here. We gotta go call AT and T. We're salespeople. We yeah. can't do that. And then they gave me a stupid price on a phone bill. Which I yeah. know ain't the right price. One hundred dollars. And I know my phone bill's three hundred bucks, three forty. So I don't know what's going on, but she lied to us, then she rushed us out the door when we told her we weren't interested in buying anything. And that, I'm not going back there again. That's all I have to say about that situation. Oh, okay. I think I said you could have got the phone cheaper or something. No. <laughs> yeah. All right, well before we, well, you know, okay, let's put the ad in then we'll come back with some more stuff. Okay. All right, stop the thing. Bye. Bye. For now. I know, I know. Hey guys, ad time. Well, I hope the Wi-Fi is fast enough to publish this here. Oh, whoa. What's the matter? Well, we can put it right in. Oh. It's gonna take a little while to process, I probably think. Yeah, okay. Well, let's just start recording. Uh, we're just about Anchor. They're the cheapest thing to use for podcasting. You know the drill, come on, come on. It's easy, it's, it's easy, easy to start. It's, it's just free. Where it's free. We get yeah. we get a free app when you start seeing you start making money right away from podcasts. And they put it on all the what do you call them stations? Yeah, you put up. Well, yeah, you put up. You put us on Spotify, Apple, Android, everything. Yeah. I don't. iHeartRadio is on that too. On that too. Right. So we got them all. So and now we're on YouTube. Oh, there you go. Woo. And this so, uploads hopefully on time. All right. Okay. Now. Are you ready to go again? I'm ready to go again. We'll make this last another round. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about yeah. resorts, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna okay, go ahead. And we're back. Okay, here we are. Hi. Uh, now we're down here at resorts. Uh, we got some free rooms, and we decided to take advantage of them, but it was a total mess. But, uh, we got in by okay, way. we got here in four hours. Uh, we ate before we came down, and came in. Went for a room, then they couldn't find us a room. I go, we had reservations, like, a month ago. ago. I think it's a month. Anymore. I don't know. So they finally came back and they said, we got out of your room. One king-size bed. He said, no. Yeah, we don't There's want three trouble. people here. We need two beds. Oh, okay. So then they went back in the back room again, and I don't know what they were doing back there. I guess they couldn't look on their computers to see what's going on. And they came back and said, okay, we got your room. It's a handicap room. And um, it's two twin beds. Yeah, it has two twin beds. So we go up to the handicap room. And the the room's clean and everything, but the shower. the shower, like you have a chair in it. Like, it's like a shower with no floor. Like, you don't no. step into it or nothing. Well, it's yeah, handicap. I, I, it has a chair. I know it's for a handicapped person, but it has one of those showers that either you hold and the thing wouldn't stay my, up. My thing, okay, when I think of a handicap room, I think of that bathtub and there's like a door to open. So I'm going to take some have that or you just, it rolls in right away. Like, oh, like know? that. 
I can't think of where it had it, but I know this bathtub's like that. Yeah, there is. The shower's like that. Yeah. The door, you open it up, and you go in and sit down. And yeah, and yeah. Then, I'm, you know, I'm, I thought it was going to be like that. But this a shower on a metal bar, and it wouldn't stay. Oh, it was a pain. To, so we called them back up, and they said, come down to the red carpet, and we'll give you a key right away. Did they not say Yes. That? So we go down to get our keys right away, and guess what? We can't find a red carpet. So I'm thinking, well, maybe the red carpet out the doors. So they throw us out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they want, want us okay. to eat. So, but they finally got us a room and came back up. And now we're doing the show. So, uh, we figured, leave me know how it is down here. Uh, me and my girlfriend are down to play the casino, the slot machine. But we're only going to go at night. So, I hope we win money. Yeah, so after this podcast, but, uh, I'll probably be on. Probably yeah. Run away from Maybe I'll win a million dollars. I don't yeah, know. Hopefully. You never know, right? You don't know until you play. Ooh. But, uh, uh, I will walk the boardwalk tomorrow and look at all the bum, bumming money. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that well, bum not, money. Some of them aren't even bum. Some of them have phones and they have like nice brand shoes. new, brand new iPhone, brand, like like brand new nice shoes. You don't have bum. Yeah, you probably live in the house down the road. Nicer than ours. Yeah, but uh, uh, begging for money. We got some big podcast news. What's that? Well, we well we have a lot of stuff we got now. Right. Oh yeah, we got a, a mixer. We got now. a mixer. We're not using it because we don't have it with us. But right. by next week, we should be using the mixer. So look forward to that. Yeah, and we had a jewelry to speed in the microphone. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. some dummy lost, lost the teeth. The teeth. <laughs> uh, so we got to hold it up by a chair. And we got and we got it new, works. So that's all that counts. We got so. a new microphone. Oh yeah, we got, oh, we got clips, another one. That clips yeah. on, dude. We should get another one at state. We should go to the right. state. Right, and we got an Elgato now, too. Yeah, we got an Elgato. We'll wait for that to come, so. Yeah, we finally got that. Now, all we got to do this saying. week, we're hoping, is to get wood and to build that studio. Yeah, hopefully. That, that'll be all done, and then we'll be ready and ready to go, I guess, huh? Yeah. Go to the big time. Yeah, the right? big time, yeah. You can change your voice on this mixer. Yeah, it's so Make cool. Make dog barks. Minion noises. Yeah. I didn't try Kisses. it out. Kisses. I haven't tried it out yet. I should try it out, but I haven't. Yeah, we haven't tried it out yet, so we just got it. The charging thing's being dumb. I haven't tried but, it out. Um, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have, the other big news. I got a phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pops out a phone, surprisingly. After three months yeah, of not oh. having a phone... I decided to get one for my Jeep. I'm going to throw it in my Jeep and leave it there. Make sure it's charged just in case I break down somewhere. I don't want to be stranded with no phone. So not, I hate, I don't know, I don't like taking people's calls. Usually somebody's either yelling me at me, hanging up on me, or trying to sell me something. One or the other. So yeah. not all the time, but you the only people who call me are my kids and my girlfriend. She hangs up on me. <laughs> and yells at you. And yells, yeah. right. Woo. But, uh, yeah, so this way I won't have to know about getting bread on the way home from work or milk yeah. or whatever. No. I have another right. question yeah. about AT&T. Didn't that lady say about a business and whatnot? Yeah, that we could use it if we had a business, maybe we could get a better deal. And she never, she never, she never told us if we could anything deal about it. I think she just wanted to sell something like Direct TV or no. I think she just wanted to guess like business, business internet or business phones or whatever. Or something I don't know. But I guess we told her it was a podcast. She got involved. She didn't tell us anything. Yeah, like bro, that's still I guess a, we're not a business. That's still a business. I mean, you're making uh, money from not making not making much money per se. We're making money. Or, making pennies, but well, it's better better than no than, money exactly. Right, and we have and fun he's... doing it. And plus, he'll have memories when he gets older. And then when I kick the bucket, he can show his kids. Pop up, right? So yeah. uh, that's cool. But getting back to Atlantic State, now you go down Atlantic on the boardwalk, and he wasn't here before, but I was oh. down here a couple weeks oh. ago. And I thought, uh, let's see how it really is. So I took a stroll down. My girlfriend stayed back, and um, her aunt was down with us. And you know what? It could be a really nice place, but it's starting to deteriorate. Like, I see, like, ugh, walls, like, the plaster coming off the walls. It needs a good, fresh coat of paint. You know, it could be a really beautiful place, really, seriously. But uh, I don't know if the... Cause I know they're losing money. Why else would they give me a free room? I don't spend that much money. <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Then no. this other place you went and we spent maybe 40, 50 bucks at the most. And they sent us a fucking car for three rooms. <laughs> yeah, for three nights. Oh, stay for shit. free. Can't take the, you know, can't beat that deal. All you gotta do is pay it costs us actually forty two dollars here because you have to pay the tax. Some kind of uh, 
some some kind of state tax. Yeah, or I know bullshit. some some kind of tax you gotta pay. I don't know, resort fee tax or you know how they always tax you and try to get yeah. any penny they can. But Monte, you got taxed for a good purpose, and we do the like yeah, well, help, they help the people build pay for and build that. shit out. Yeah, get rid of the bills that are ugly and whatever you know. They're I mean, destroyed. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. They all the they just money. They want to line their pockets. That's why. Yeah. They probably get paid big bucks. And we don't, yeah, Nate. And, you know, these guys, here, these guys at the store, you know, have the stores. They can help too a little bit, but I'm sure. The casinos. Now, during the summer, yeah. winter months, I'm sure they're not making, they're making peanuts. I don't even know how they survive during the winter. Nobody's Especially like the uh, animal, like animal cafe. How is that doing business right now? Now, we went down, we walked through there. It, it was a nice day. It wasn't real cold out. And it, like I said, we went down, I forget what month we were in, January, was it? Maybe. And it wasn't a real bad day, the sun was shining, but yeah. um, there was hardly anybody out there on the boardwalk, nobody buying stuff at the store. I don't know how these people even, I guess they just figure a dollar is a dollar. If you make one dollar in a day, that's better than no dollars that day. But so how they like spend how poor rent, especially during the winter months? Yeah, I don't know how they make it. And they all have the same stuff. Why can't you get different stuff? I don't know. But, uh, they're either pizza places or they're sandwich places up here. You know oh, yeah. But, I mean, on, on the boardwalk, there's, I don't know, not that many restaurants, actually. Is there, they're, they're always either pizza or steak sandwiches or some, something yeah. along those lines. Not, Ice cream. Not a real nice place to eat. No I mean, place. the only nice thing to eat there's the Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. That's, I don't even see that there. That must be down far. Enough. That's way down there. I walked pretty far down, but... Uh, like I said, I don't know how these people make it in the wintertime, so, uh, like I said, it's a nice place to visit. They gave, you a free, gave us free room, so we took advantage, and we're going to do our two shows from down here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And we're going to go home on uh, Sunday. Sunday we're going to go home. So uh, we're going to have lots of fun and try to do something tomorrow. Yeah, hope so. Walk around. Long go yeah. Rain or anything. But uh, they have a problem with, uh, what do they call them, panhandlers? Is that the name of them? People who bump money off, yeah. Oh, they're, they're, home, they're not homeless people. They're, they're Are they be, panhandlers? I, I guess. I never heard they that. They didn't come in the casino. We were sitting at the one slot machine. My girl got sucked into it and gave the guy 10 bucks. Well, we gave him seven. He gave us this real long story. I couldn't believe the story he told. Good BS, sir. But he told us this big story about beating Vietnam. He got his penis blew off. And all this stuff he's telling us. I don't know. It's gross. And then my girlfriend felt bad for him, gave him seven bucks, and then you know what he had the nerve to say. I, ten. I wanted to have I wanted to buy a steak sandwich. Can you give me three more dollars so I can buy a steak sandwich? Where the fuck? And she are you? did. But what she should have done, I told her from now on, if you feel bad for these people, nothing wrong with that. Uh, maybe some are homeless, homeless. some aren't. You know what I mean? Some advantage. might need the money. I'm not I'm not judging nobody. Who am I to judge? I'm not God. Even though I'm close. Shut up. Nah. <laughs> but um, up. why? Next time I say, go and say, if they say, we want to say, I say, okay, come on, I'll get you a steak sandwich and buy it for them. Because this way they don't have to use the money for booze or drugs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's the only way to really And do we'll it. see if they really are. Because I already gave guys, like, they came to me, oh, I forgot my wallet. Uh, I need money for gas. I gave him gas. I seen him walk away. Like, I thought he was getting gas. <laughs> the next time I'm going to say to him, I'll, I'll put it. money. I'll put money in your in your tank. Give me your car, and we'll go and put gas in it. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean. It's, they lie. I don't like liars. You know what I mean? So uh, it's you okay to I mean? be honest and say, no, you know, I really need the money or whatever. Mm -hmm. I need some food to eat. Okay, that's fine. You know what I mean? I'll buy you food. You know, I, I don't mind. So uh, that's okay, but. Uh, they need something to do something they, down here. They, Patrol it more? Or yeah, like, they should, okay, I think I can see in this recipe that they should, they should have more security. Because we come in right through. There's no metal detectors, no nothing. They don't search our bags. No. Like, what's stopping to get a, crazy, a, luna, a lunatic to come, come in? Come in with a machine gun. Yeah, like, what's stopping that? Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. Nothing. They should have metal detectors. They should have metal detectors where you walk through. Yeah, I right where you so walk too. through, and they should have a like, security checkpoint. You know, like TSA or whatever. No, like, not, not like that. Not, not that bad. We're like... strip down to play a poker machine. Here <laughs> we go. Why don't we play strip poker? Yeah. yeah. No. no, but like they should have so they search your bag a little bit. At least they like, poke through it, make sure there's nothing. Or uh, at least have metal detectors. Yeah. Right. So um, 
that'd be okay. So, uh, like I said, we're going to try to have fun tomorrow. Last time we came down with him, the guy came up to me, it was a rainy day, I remember, and the guy comes up, yeah, you want to make a hundred bucks? We go, yeah, two hundred bucks. For two hundred, what is two hundred dollars? Yeah, man, of hours. Oh, what is two hundred, okay. And he you know, we gotta go and look at this timeshare right away. I said, okay, we're fine. Let's go and look at the damn timeshare. And they showed us this beautiful, in Winheim, and that was a beautiful room. That was a beautiful room. The room. windows were like 12 foot tall. They were, tall. They, were they were nice. Huge. They were so All the way nice. on the top floor, you could look out all over the city. It was cool. It would be neat to be in there in a thunderstorm, but, uh, mm -hmm. and we, it's like, we go here, Jakey T, take the car and do what you want with it. He took it to the rainforest to eat. He, what else did you do with it? Bought stuff. It was a master's car with like 200 bucks on it. Yeah. So, yeah, I just bought yeah. whatever. I don't remember yeah. what I did when I bought. I think games and shit. I don't remember. Yeah, I honestly I can't remember. Yeah, not a long time, a couple of months ago. And a couple, like, almost a year ago, Yeah, I probably think. was. So we had fun then, but now I hate oh, those oh, time oh. shit. I told my girlfriend, whatever you do, say no. So yeah. they come up, we go through the whole field, the guys... What like, do you think, Tim? This is the best thing. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, Tim? What do, you, what do I think? <laughs> I think, no. <laughs> and then I start arguing with the guys, like, saying, you know, I read a lot about you guys being rip-offs and... and <laughs> I like remember that. him saying so, that. So, like I said, you know what I mean? I, I look into it, too, you know the what guy, I mean? The guy was like, oh, it's not all wind ham. It's just... All companies have problems. Yeah, they all have... All yeah, but things. these timeshare companies are a big problem, I think. So, uh, like I said, if you have the money to do it, more power to you. But I think you're writing a blank check to them and they just fill in whatever they want. Uh, like, they offer you a timeshare and they offer you money to go look at it. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Yeah. Just say I, used, no. I remember down in Mexico, I was already in the hour up me the time. I said, can I bring my friends? They go, yeah, bring your friends. It was free breakfast. You all went to the timeshare. Yeah, free breakfast. breakfast. All said no. And then we all said no. You know what I mean? We laughed. You know what I mean? They probably were pissed. But, uh, <laughs> What can you do? Once I got hit up in Florida, I remember the guy said, would you buy a bet if you wanted one? I go, I would buy a bet if I wanted one. But I don't want this timeshare. But I don't want a timeshare. <laughs> what the heck am I going to do with it? I, just, I can sleep along the beach somewhere and take free showers. What the heck more do I want? I can sleep in a car. You know what I mean? What? I don't need a timeshare to take a, to sleep in. You know what I mean? I think that's more for... I don't know. I'd say, that's people. not. That's for people that like go go like to go out a lot. I guess like people I that like know. to go to exotic places. And sometimes yeah. you can't. Remember. I don't know when there was someone that's were like, "There's margaritas every hour. Do you never have an empty glass?" I can't I even drink. Margaritas. I can't even drink. What do I care? Yeah. Like who? So, I can't. Like I said, some people like it. That's fine. You know, whatever floats your boat. But that don't float my boat. They record like revolution. That make my boat sink. <laughs> Real fast, but, you know what I mean? So. They don't... I don't know. They don't understand. We already, you already told me. You have a cabin in New York. You know, we don't... We go up there all the time. Well, in yeah. During the summer, we like we, going up there. It's, it's a like, nice place. It's on a, a lake. Up, it's not really on the lake. It's like by, by a lake. The lake, the lake is maybe, what? 100 feet? 200 yeah, 200 feet away. feet away from my cabin. We go fishing. I take the grandkids out. We have a grand old time. I take them up to Lake George. We have fun up there. We go to Great Escape. We had fun up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see you bought season, you bought season passes. We got to go up there and this yeah. year, Ethan, he wants to go up again, yeah, so, we'll so let, I have to let him know about yeah, that. Yeah, we have lots and lots of fun. Maybe that's one of our trips we'll make with this, and we'll do yeah. our block class from up there, do our food thing. Well, how do um, we do our food? How do we do the block class? We'll do it at Burger King. We're going to have to, because we don't at the cabin. We, we can't have no even phones. But, I mean, I can record the video there, but I can't, I can record videos, but I can't, uh, why do a broadcast? Well, we go to Burger King and do it. We got the people at Burger King. What I wanted to do today was he actually to go out. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna ask tomorrow. We can film in the restaurant. Yeah. So I hope we can. He said New Jersey is a big deal. It is a big deal. Any any state's a big deal. Pennsylvania, isn't it? Is it? But it's, it's a big deal too. You can't record and you have to ask the person that owns this or the person that's serving you. Someone's I bullshit. see people taking pictures of that all the time. Yeah, but recording is different. Cause you're reviewing their food. Oh. We don't really review the food. We yeah, just say yeah, give it at, what we think. We give it either a zero or, or a, a ten. ten. Up from one or the other. But what, uh, right. yeah, what is that called? A rating? Zero to ten, is that a... a rating? Uh, a rating? Yeah, maybe a rating. Okay, we'll call it that. All right. But uh, I don't know. He's. Not, I wanted to go out on the boardwalk and oh, talk to you, people. Oh, you want to do the, we should wait to bring another microphone? No. I think so. I could have done that. But you didn't even get a microphone. Can you use your phone? 
I could, yeah, but it'd be really windy. Then I'm not gonna find there'd be no wind. Well, it might be cold in mine, and I don't feel like freezing my butt off. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll see what it is. But I would like to do that one time. Come out to people. Hey, what do you think of Atlantic City? What do you think of Morlock? Or the buildings, or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's see, just see what the opinion is of the neighborhood, say. You yeah. know what I mean? So, uh, it might be okay to do. What do you think? Probably. That'd Pop be cool. Pops. Maybe we can get three rooms again. Pops, I'm kind of scared of my phone running out of space. Oh, I am? Okay. So it's we better go and yeah, cut it short. Like, hey, you guys, hey, tell them how we get a hold of us. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Pops Shaky, and you can follow us on Instagram at Pops JT Podcast. Um, you can watch YouTube for us at It's Just Jakey T. Um, but it's the Facebook? Is, Facebook is Pops JT Fan Group. Uh, oh, email podcast at gmail.com. Okay, that's yeah, it. That's, uh, okay, it. adios. Have a good week and have fun eating and we'll see you on Tuesday night. See you on Tuesday. Here on Tuesday. Here on Tuesday. Tuesday. It all depends on what you're listening to. Yep. Okay, see you guys. See Bye. You. Bye.